Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this third question of exercise 6.3. The question says, diagnose AC and BD of a trapezium ABCD with AB is given parallel to DC intersect each other at the point O. Using the similarity criterion for two triangles, we have to show that the ratio between these corresponding sides are equal or you can say that the sides of these two triangles are in proportion. Here, ABCD is a trapezium in which this AB side is given parallel to this DC side and using similarity, you have to prove that the ratio of these two triangles, the sides of these two triangles are in equal ratio, which is this. So, how to prove a two triangles similar? For that, what you have to do is, you have to prove that the all three angles of this triangle are equal to the corresponding three angles of this triangle. Or, you need not to prove three angles, you just need to prove two angles. Because if two triangles, uh, sorry, because if two angles are already equal, the third angle will automatically will become equal. No need to prove for third angle. You just need to prove that two angles of this triangle is equal to two angles of this triangle. For that, we have to use the property for parallel lines. If these two lines are parallel, if, I, if I'm saying that these two lines are parallel and this is a transversal here, AB and DC are parallel and this BD is a transversal. So obviously this angle and this angle must be equal. These are known as alternate angles. So here, this angle and this angle must be equal. Similarly, if there is another transversal like this, which is AC, so this angle must be equal to this angle. Same alternate angles. This angle must be equal to this angle here. Now, we can also say that this third angle must be equal to this corresponding third angle because these two are vertically opposite angles. So here we have proved that three angles of this triangle are equal to the corresponding three angles of this triangle. Now, we know that if two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides, the ratio between their corresponding sides must be equal. And now how to find the corresponding side. Now, if I consider that this AO is the first side here, I consider that first of all, you have to prove that these two triangles are similar. For that, you have to write also that angle, this is BAO, this angle, BAO, this angle is equals to angle OCD, this. O, C, D. These two angles are equal. This is because alternate angles. Alternate angles. And we know that in a parallel line, alternate angles are equal. Similarly, we, also, we can also say that angle A, B, O is equal to angle. This is O, D, C. Again, this is because of alternate angles. And by angle angle property triangle AOB can be proved similar to triangle DOC. Now these two triangles are similar. Now if these two triangles are similar, obviously their corresponding sides are in equal ratios. Now how to find the corresponding sides? First of all, let me consider that this is the first side in this small triangle. Now, we have to find the corresponding side of this triangle. For that, we'll use the same angles. Here, this side is basically opposite to this angle. And in this triangle, this angle is equal to this angle. So, the side opposite to this angle must be the corresponding side opposite to this angle. Means, this and this must be corresponding sides. We can find out using the angles here. So, the side opposite, uh, the side corresponding to AO must be equal to OC. 
Now, this is the first side. Now consider this side, which is opposite to this one, this angle. So, this is OB. Now, how to find the corresponding side of this? Here, this angle must is equal to this angle. So, the side opposite to this angle must be the corresponding side here. So, the side corresponding to OB must be OD. And the third side, which is AB in this triangle, must be corresponding to the side DC here. So, this can be proved using the similarity here by this and by this. From the first two, we can say that the ratio between AO and OC must be equal to the ratio between OB and OD. This is same as this which we have to prove here. So this is how you can solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.